you're here because you wanna know how to sell your house quickly. Today, I'm gonna share the seven secrets on how to do that. Welcome back guys, Andrea Garcia with Andrea Garcia Realty. As I mentioned, you're probably here because you're looking for a way to get your home sold quickly. And it's unlikely because if your market is like the Arizona market, which I probably am pretty confident it is, there is so much talk about us being in a seller's market. There is a frenzy and there's a shortage of inventory and lots of demand, which I'm not trying to downplay it. There really is. So today I really want to share those seven secrets. Secret number one declutter 64% of buyers said that storage was the most or one of the most important concepts of or reasons for buying a home so decluttering you have to think about let's declutter the pantry let's declutter the cabinets and unfortunately let's declutter those closets yes people look at closets you want to provide a space where they can envision themselves because again keep in mind 64 percent highly consider storage as one of the reasons they buy a home secret number two deep clean i know it doesn't sound sexy but actually deep cleaning is a necessity People are gonna walk in the home and see that there's a sense of pride and ownership. You wanna make sure that you dust the baseboards, you clean the ceiling fans, you clean the air conditioning receptacles, and potentially even deep clean the carpet. I actually even suggest calling a professional cleaning company because they know exactly what we're looking for. Deep cleaning will provide that sense of pride and ownership in the home, and people will, will feel that when they walk in. Secret number three, you want to depersonalize the space. This means you want to walk around the home, take a look at any pictures that are on the walls, in the bookshelves, in bathrooms, remove all those personal photos. I know it sounds terrible, but use it as a way to start prepping for your new home. The honest to God feedback is when they walk in and they see your pictures, they're focused on you and your family and we want them to be focused on the home. We want them to be focused and envisioning themselves in the home, in that space. And it's hard to do that with all the personal items that are distracting them from it. Secret number four, take care of the very minor, easy repairs. When you remove pictures off the wall, you wanna go ahead and spackle the holes, touch up the paint. If you have any leaky faucets, make sure you get those repaired and don't forget the broken light bulbs. Light makes a huge difference. Secret number five, this is actually one of my favorites because it actually goes a long way. You wanna change out dated and old, gold-plated, you know which ones I'm talking about, fixtures in your home. So you know, doorknobs, the door hinges, or potential dining uh, table lights, go ahead and swap those out for some very inexpensive, they could be as little as $30, brush nickel, chrome, or black fixtures. Believe me, it's like a mini facelift, but a mini home lift. Secret number six, if you want to, we actually do encourage you paint dingy, scuffed, and potentially uh, faded walls. Adding some new, updated, fresh paint, specifically neutral colors, will again, open up the space, provide a home lift to the home, but I also encourage that you actually add a pop of color to the front door. Don't be afraid to go with a green, a yellow, or even a red. 
that actually attracts folks and people are eager to walk in and see your beautiful home. And lastly, secret number seven, you want to make sure that your home has curb appeal. What does that look like? Of course, you want to update any shrubbery, replace any potted plants that have since died, um, take care of the landscaping. In addition to make sure all the lights on the exterior are working and operating. If that means replacing a gold dingy fixture outside, this is the perfect time to do it. And you want to make sure that your house numbers are clearly visible to the prospective buyers. If the numbers are faded and dingy or are half broken because we've driven up to homes with no visible numbers, and it's a bit frustrating of an experience when you're looking and you're supposed to be excited to buy a home. Make sure you replace these numbers and don't be afraid of moving them to a new location. If they're far, even with the light being on, making it difficult to see, it's okay for you to move it up closer. Maybe put it near your mailbox or a different post. It goes a long way. So there you have it, the seven secrets to help you prep your home to sell quickly. Now, a lot of these actually don't take a lot of time and money, but the reality is, is going through these steps, making the actual updates and applying it will help your prospective buyers envision themselves in your space. Now, before you run off and go and perform the slightly larger, more expensive tasks like painting a full bedroom. Keep in mind, I'm happy to answer any questions. I'm here as a resource. Post a comment, send me a direct message. My email's in the description of this video. Um, and I'd be happy to be a resource and just walk you through that process. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you really found it helpful. If you did, I would absolutely appreciate a like or a subscribe. Better yet, hit that bell button so you receive a notification when I drop some new content for you. Hope to see you soon. <laughs> Talk soon. <laughs> there you have a few options. Yeah. <laughs>